discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Josh and I are playing Watergate, which is all about the Nixon administration scandal. That if you don't know what Watergate is, here's some quick history. I will be very shocked if people who watch this, this specific run-through don't know what Watergate is. I mean, this this doesn't even sound like a fun a fun. Oh, hey, what's that about? I'll, I'll look into it. Like, no, like this this cover is is kind of boring if you don't know what Watergate is. And oh man, like if you don't know what Watergate is, let me know in the comments below. Nixon was a big old piece of shit. I'm doing. <laughs> The great taste of Charleston Chew! And he's like, <laughs> Louis C.K.'s fucking thing of, uh, he's like, we saw the president get in a helicopter and fly away! <laughs> and that was it! In June 1972, five men are arrested in Washington's Watergate building. What looked like a third rate burglary attempt on the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee induces journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein of the Washington Post to start a thorough investigation. Over the following two years, they discovered that the five men were directed from within the White House to spy on political opponents. Oh, I guess he was Republican side. As a consequence, in 1974, President Richard Nixon resigns from office to avoid impeachment. So, quick caveat. Uh, don't take this game so fucking literal if there's any jokes that we say, because goddamn, it's like... It's a game. It's it's a game, and uh, this is uh, it's not not a good. And time. half the stuff we have to say while we're playing this is for entertainment. Yep. So, because uh, it's, it's strategy game, it's not gonna be a lot of fun. It's a lot of thinking. Right. Right. How am I gonna outsmart you? Right. Exactly. So, uh, so damn yeah. kids. <laughs> So, uh, what I will be doing, though, is throughout the game, is uh, each card that we we play, uh, we'll read the overview and background information, because that sounds fun. So, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, uh, Josh is playing Nixon, and I am playing... Uh, I really wanted to play as Nixon, because he's such a kind of controversial character in U.S. history, and I wanted to see what possibly could have been in his deck of cards that could have gave him the edge to be reelected. Deep throat. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I can't think of any Futurama quotes. I know, right? <laughs> the it's top like, of it's my like head. all like right out I can only window. think of Bender. I can't think of... Of Nixon. He's a huge part in... I know! Like, there's one literally an episode centered around him, and it's him censoring cartoons, and he's doing a voiceover for it. Um, God! But, Futurama was so good. Yeah, they had, a, they had a stint throughout their... I mean, obviously, they, they had a, a pretty long-running... They got cancelled, like, twice. Two or three times. And it came back, and then... They, they had, uh, like, one season. One season was literally just their movies, which are great. But they also had one towards where I was like, ah, oh, these episodes aren't the best, but ended on a banger. Mm -hmm. Like, makes me makes me wet my wee-wee. So, oh, I shall start, and let's... Oh, no, sorry, you need to draw three mm -hmm. three tokens mm -hmm. from... And that's not there. Uh, that is... Uh, well, actually, here we go. <laughs> start you off with an edge. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw three from the baggerino. And I'm just essentially gonna... Ooh. They're all red. <laughs> Wait, what, what? Red? Yep, yep, sorry. Yeah, they're all red. Hmm. As I'm drooling everywhere, like I'm having a stroke. Okay. All right. So... It let's... wasn't me! <laughs> I did not have <laughs> sexual relations with that woman. I did not. Um, so I... Ooh, okay. Well, my hand is already amazing, and uh, it's interesting because there it's like all events, and events are one-time use, so it's like, when do I need to play this, and which one should I play that I, that I, he might not be able to counter, and that's kind of the, the things you have to consider when, when playing this game. Mm, that's 
pretty freaking good already. Let's, you know, let's start this off with a banger. Ah, oh, man. But do I want to do that right off the bat? You know, let's go ahead. Who do I got? Okay. So let's instead use Carl Bernstein. Is there a green? No. There is not a green. Damn it! Okay. Then I will move this twice. Um, Carl Bernstein is a journalist. And let's see, just because it might be fun. Carl Bernstein grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, where he started his journalism career at the age of 16 as a copy boy for the Washington Star. Though never completing college, Bernstein's journalism career flourished early when he won an award for the investigative journalism while working for the Elizabeth Daily Journey, Journey <laughs> Journal in New Jersey. In 1966, he joined the Washington Post as a local news reporter. Bernstein, along with Bob Woodward, was assigned the Watergate burglary investigation the day after the arrest. Bernstein's investigative reporting, particularly the tracing of funds paid to the burglars to Nixon's re-election campaign, tied the campaign to the burglary and informed the public of the administration's role in the conspiracy. There's a hack! <laughs> Fucking uneducated piece of shit! So, that was my turn. Alright. There's no green? <clears throat> That bums my booty. Hmm. God. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do Howard Hunt on the research track. Move the momentum two steps. You. <laughs> and then I draw one card from my deck and then play it immediately, either choosing its value or the action part, as usual. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Who was it? Uh, Who was he? Howard Hunt. Okay. No, you, you can keep going. Okay. Uh, and then I will do Operation Gemstone. On the research track, move the momentum token and two evidence tokens, two steps. Damn. So, so there and here. Okay. And then this is removed. Uh, having a good lead in both tokens and in momentum uh, really will affect how you win. So having that initial push, the acceleration towards getting what you want is fantastic, but you also have to have staying power to accompany it. All right, so Howard Hunt. E. Howard Hunt was an author as well as an officer with the CIA where he served for over 30 years before leaving in 1970. Before leaving the CIA, Hunt forged a relationship with Chuck Colson who was working on Nixon's presidential campaign. He was later hired by Colson who was then serving as special counsel to President's, President Nixon to serve in the White House Special Investigations Unit. Hunt led a burglary of a psychiatrist's office to seek information on Daniel Ellard, or Ellsberg, who had leaked the Pentagon Papers, used disguises and other tools to attempt to obtain damaging information about Edward Kennedy, and eventually organized the bugging of the Democratic National Committee at the Watergate. Hunt, along with Liddy and the five burglars, were the first persons indicted by a grand jury on September 15, 1972. The payments for his and the other burglars' silence was part of the key information found by the Washington Post that exposed the cover-up of the conspiracy. Ah, oh, Howard, my best friend. <laughs> oh, I should have just had him kill the people. Okay. Well, that, that certainly dingles my booty. Okay. Hmm. There's not one. Okay. So, you could, uh, with, with that event, did you have to move... Two. You got to move two face down. It said move two evidence token okay. steps each. Okay. And then it said to move the momentum token two yeah. spaces. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. <sighs> okay. Mm. You said there was not any green. What was that? That was the damn tokens. I did it again. God. Well, they need to be on the table anyway. I know. I'm holding over. Um. Hmm. Uh -oh. About lost them all again. By the way, the tokens should be flipped, uh, but we do fix that later on, so don't worry. It's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I picked it up initially, and it's just like everywhere. Yeah, just all dumped out. So you only get five tokens, <laughs> but I need, but I need six to beat you. No, okay. no, no. I am going to do the Saturday Night Massacre 
On the research track, move the initiative token and all evidence tokens back to the zero space. Okay. Then move one evidence token one step. So if I'm moving the, well, I guess that's only if I'm doing the value. Um, cause if I'm, yeah, cause if I'm moving them, then, uh, she's on this face up or face down whenever you move it. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, that's what I thought. So the two you moved have to be flipped face up regardless oh. of if they're getting, okay. getting moved by a value or not. So, so, so you move these two, so flip them face up. Okay. Oh no. Okay. All right. And then, oh boy. All right. <laughs> then I'll move this one one space. Okay. All right. So that was, huh. I wonder if they have the events in here too. That would be pretty cool. They, well, those are just other, other cards. I guess they don't have, they don't have all of them. Uh, okay. I'll do presidential election 1972. Move the research on the research track. Move any number of evidence tokens. A combined total of four steps. Mm. So one, two, one, two. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. God. Okay. This. Okay. I'm gonna do Alexander Butterfield as uh, it's four, and you go one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm actually okay. I'll just read the cards whenever we're using their ability. That seems to make oh okay. more sense. So I'm not just constantly reading every card at the beginning. Uh. I will do the president speaks. It's an event. Draw one evidence token from the bag and place it face up to three spaces. On any side. On any side. Oh, on on your side. Says, on my side. No, it says on oh, your okay. side. I didn't do it. Fucking kids. <laughs> uh. Man, it's so weird that uh that we can't think of. I just want to say Scooby Doo quotes, and I don't know why. Oh. I had so many Scooby Doo quotes because it's a who done it, and that's what Scooby Doo's about. It's figuring out how Nixon pulled it off. It's not terrible either. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the Watergate complex. Mm -hmm. um, on the research track, move the initiative token three steps. Uh, one face up evidence token, two steps. Mm -hmm. And one face down evidence token, one step. Okay. And I get to move from the game. Is that in this one? The Watergate complex? Probably not. It's not. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it might actually be a water game complex for more. See the bottom of this page. So what happens oh. if it's face down? Do you just flip it? Yeah, over? just flip it at the end of the, okay. the round. Well, I'm going to do a third rate burglary. That's uh, exactly what it was. <laughs> Like, who the, who the fuck did you hire? A third-rate burglary attempt. Uh, on the research track, move one evidence token back to the zero space and then move it one space to my side. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, That was your last card? Mm-hmm. Neat. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay. Man, you are getting quite a lot. You have to move just any one evidence token, huh? It says, on the research track, move one evidence token back to the zero space, and the, yeah. oh, the momentum token, one space to my side, so. Gotcha. There. All right. Well, <clears throat> makes me feel a little bit better. Um, so then I will just... Uh, do that as a two and just move that there. Okay. Because that's blue and there were no green like I wanted. So, uh, end of the round, um, like, we'll return to the bag, this one. And then I'll get initiative. I will get one momentum. Yay! 
Uh, and then place the, an initiative token back and then a momentum token back and then we'll place these uh, with the initiative going first. Hey, I get one there. And uh, let's go ahead and I will put this. Oh man, you fucker, you get to see exactly where I'm placing, huh? Okay, over there. What's strange is that initiative is not always good in this game. It really depends on the the situation because most of the time you want to be first. Like being first is always better. However, because the game is so reactionary and tug of war like, your opponents have the op the option to to react to whatever you do. And whenever you're placing the tokens, initiative player goes first. So in my instance, as as deep throat. I want to go after him so I can build around, but I can't! Gotta get some Watergate dirt on ya! I... <clears throat> okay. So. One, two, three, four, five. And I will get... Mmm, that is... That is... Um, well, is this amazing? That is amazing! Okay, so first... Draw three tokens from the bag. Okay. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Ooh. Oh God. Ooh. All right. They 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 don't start on your side, you cheater. I'm, that's all you do. I'm, <laughs> I'm, all I'm you. fixing up. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and hire Hugh Sloan. Uh, let's go ahead and get old, old Huey boy. Where is he? Right there. Okay. Hugh Sloan gets recruited. So, that's actually he is in here. Hugh Sloan. Sloan was treasurer of the committee for the re-election of the president, described by Woodward and Bernstein as one of the few honest persons they interviewed. Sloan was reported not to have had knowledge of the Watergate break-in and resigned from the committee due to his ethical concerns. Sloan served as an important uh, source um, for the Washington Post. After leaving Washington, Sloan settled down in Michigan with his wife, Deborah, where they raised their family together. How nice. Hmm. How nice. Okay. That was my turn. Mmm. Oh, wait. I might actually uh, do some sweet ass, sweet ass maneuvers. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and get ready right there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do gambit. You don't wanna do that. Move the momentum token to the five space. Oh God! On my side. Yeah, you automatically get it. Um, and then I either remove this from the game or remove a conspirator from the game. Mm. Remove a conspiracy. Conspirator. Conspirator. Damn, that's nasty. I forgot that card existed. Okay. Okay. That is fine with me. I assume once I run out of cards, I just shuffle my discard pile. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Martha Mitchell, but uh, is there a blue in there? There is. There is. Yay. Where is it? Right there. And I will move it four. Okay. Your turn. Uh. Oh, wait. Gambit. That has to be a card. That, that, I mean, there's no way that's not. Gambit. When played for its... Oh, there's no theme. Um... Yep, never mind. I, I thought there was there was hopefully some some thing on it, but there isn't. So essentially, there's just journalist stuff. There is actually the whole back of the whole thing, the third-rate burglary, the history behind it, and it's like three pages. Well, actually, technically like six. Like, look at all this. Look at all that. Like, that's mm -hmm. that's that's it. That's everything. Okay. All right. You can go ahead and go while I just show everyone. Classic, classic Nixon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Cancer on the Presidency. On the research track, move one evidence token, three spaces. Hmm. Hmm. Dirty. 
So I'm going to reveal this. Okay. And then the round immediately ends. We oh. discard the rest of our cards. You piece of shit. Oh man, that totally blows. I I had an awesome combo coming up, and uh, like God, that sucks. Okay. All righty. I hate you. I hate that. That's the card. All right. Well, Nixon's asshole. <laughs> Okay, well, that is that, so I'll start by placing this one. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place it there. Okay. Go and place your greeny boy. Place it there. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, if you want to give it to me, that's fine. No! Okay, and I think... This goes back? I don't think, I, it probably has to be connected. What? I probably have to block you. I can't just put them all around me. Because then it's obvious. I mean, you can. Like, Do you have things that can <clears throat> let you... Take them off. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm like, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it just says you just put it on an empty space. So, uh, what? there was one thing I was double-checking, just because I can't... Uh, whenever we award initiative... Uh, Okay, so you get initiative. It just kind of flips if it's on the... Mm -hmm. All right. So I will draw four. One, two, three, four. So if it's at zero, I get it? Yep. Well, no, if it's at zero, it's whoever didn't have initiative last time. Oh, gotcha. So maybe I better hurry. Man, I watched a freaking... The cinema sins of, like... Everything wrong with Elf. Mm hmm And man, I just I just do not like that movie. <laughs> You're a fucking heretic. We gotta make double sure of all these. Hmm. Make double sure of all these. Okay. Uh, so there's that. Draw my five. Man. Okay. Okay. So you start. This is rough. Mm, yeah, okay. So if it says remove the card from the game, is it after I use it yeah. or is it after... After you use it. Okay. I didn't know if it was after I had to use the, like, the action part of it. Oh, yeah, no, once you use the action part. Okay. Yeah, so if you're using if you use it for value, then you're fine. Uh, move this four. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay. Let's see. I'll hold on to that, that, that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get John Dean out. Damn. Damn. Gotta get my peeps. Okay. Then that's removed from the game. John Dean. Okay. As White House counsel from 19... Uh, 70 through 1973, Dean was a major player in both the run-up to the Watergate scandal and one of the key figures in the eventual downfall of Nixon and others. Dean became White House counsel after John Ehrlichman was promoted to the president's chief domestic advisor. Dean was involved with others in the intelligence gathering operations that eventually led to the Watergate scandal. After the failed burglary, Dean was instrumental in the cover-up, including involvement with the destruction of evidence by... Um, by the acting director of the FBI, Patrick Gray. It was his activities with Gray that led to Dean being directly in implicated in the cover-up. Worried that he would be made the scapegoat, Dean became, began cooperating with government officials while still serving as counsel to Nixon. He pleaded guilty to a single felony count in exchange for his testimony before the grand jury. His testimony was crucial to the convictions of others involved in the cover-up. Damn. Ah, Dean. Damn, he had a... He was basically... He was, he was a secret agent. He was a... What do they call it? Double agent, mm -hmm. essentially. Your turn. 
<clears throat> well, um, I guess I'll play John Dean and go ahead and score that. Yep. Your go. Yep, 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 yep. Um, oh man, it's it's really quite neck and neck right now. He, he is on his way to getting his momentum for re-election. I am so close to to uncovering all the information I need to, to, to really nail him on, on this Watergate scandal. And, oh man, it's it's so good. Okay. I'm going to do Bob Woodward. Woodward. Uh, draw one evidence token from the bag. He and place it face up on the two space on my side of the research track. All right. Okay. And then I can move the initiative token or the momentum token two spaces. Okay. Your turn. Uh, I'll play Gordon Liddy. Remove one face up evidence token from the research track back to the bag. Hold on. Oh, do you have a reaction? I do. Block the action of one of Nixon's conspirators. It is removed from the game. Okay. Then you get to go again. And maybe I better hurry. Got one. Got one. All right. Uh, value one, two, three. Okay. Um. Okay. Is there a blue? There is. Okay. All right. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do. Who's that? Uh, Bob Hadelman. Hadelman. Okay. You can go ahead and do whatever you need to with him. Uh, I'm gonna move all of these one. So I'll flip them. Oh, wait, wait, what does he say? He says, on the research track, move each evidence token one. Gotcha. So. All right. <clears throat> oh, that bums me out. Oh, never mind. No, never mind. Card wouldn't have worked. Bob Hadelman. Harry Robbins Bob Hadelman was White House Chief of Staff to President Richard Nixon from 1969 through 1973. Hadelman was a Republican political operative and managed Nixon's 1962 run for governor of California. Hadelman... Uh, was instru instrumental in the cover-up efforts after Watergate and was known as the smoking gun tape from July June 23, 1972. Nixon conspired with Hadelman to obstruct justice by planning to contact the CIA to pressure the FBI into halting the Watergate investigation on the ground that it was a matter of national security. This conspiracy formed one of the bases for the articles of impeachment against Nixon and led to Hadelman serving 18 months in prison. Mm. Only 18 months? Right, right. Jeez. You gotta have that money! Alright, so you have initiative. Uh, so you'll keep initiative and you will start by placing those two. Face down. That's right. Okay. Well, that's... Does it start here? Uh, I don't... Oh, were, were they... Were they... I okay. don't... I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, it starts there. Okay. Okay. Boom. Hmm, actually. Boom. Boom. Got Sloan on ya. You got Cabal on the field. Yeah, Cabal on the field. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. You got Max. Yeah, me. Who, who was it? Oh, yeah. Sloan. Well, no, where am I? I don't know where I'm getting my, my names. Uh. So, to get to me, that's, that, that's one connection. Okay, so you have you have one. I have one out of my two. All right. Okay. And maybe I better hurry. Two, three, four, five. All right. Let's do this. Hmm. Not gonna lie, like I, I'm actually, I'm pretty stressed. And now I have some high composure, but it's uh, pretty stressed, buddy. Are you also stressed? No. Fine. <laughs> Seth, it's fucking, it's a game. It's real easy. Uh, for four. 
Neat. Okay. Here we go. That, that, that's, that's a thing. That is a very much thing you can do. Okay. Is there a yellow? There is. Okay. It is said yellow though. Can't remember where I put it. There it is. Boop. All right. Your turn. This is the part where uh, it starts to get quiet because we have to like really think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, think of ways to get this. <sighs> And baby, it's cold out. Side. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh. A brilliant mood. Uh, attention! I can't play this on my first turn of the round. Okay. Uh, you can't play events for the rest of this round. Like, I can't do the event action? Yes. Okay. For the rest of this round, the editor can't play events, is what it says. <sighs> What's that card called? A Brilliant Mood? A Brilliant Mood. You cannot use the action part of this card on your first... Okay, once you play the card, uh, for the rest of the round, the editor can play their event cards only for their value part. Okay. Okay. Wow, that, whew, that pretty much sucks, because... My deck is mostly event cards. I think I have like three journalists, maybe four, and the rest are events. So it's like if I can't play those for what I need to play them for, I'm I'm virtually done. Okay, that kind of stifles my booty. So if the evidence hits five, do you automatically get it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, thank you for reminding me of that. Okay. Ooh, got some plumbers on you, the people who broke in. I'm gonna move a blue three. Mm. Okay. Is there another yellow? There is. Okay. Oh wait, this is only oh, for, green. for green. Yep. Well, you've busted me, good sir. Nixon was a hack. Yeah. Well, you still have that card too. You can do whatever you want with it. Actually, I completely ghosted on that. I was like, yeah, that's that's a thing you can do. What does it even say on the board? Five men arrested for breaking into DNC. That's right, because it was the. For some reason, I always thought Nixon was Democrat for whatever dumb reason. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I get initiative first! <laughs> Alright. Um, well, uh, so you will get initiative, then you will get to place your token first. It doesn't matter, though. It, it doesn't, but... I'm not going to, then, <clears throat> if it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. And then I actually got really fucking lucky with this being a split. Um, then I'll place mine. Right there. John Dean and Hugh Sloan busted Damn. Nixon. Damn. That would, yeah, the next card was green. Damn! I had, I had another... I almost card. got away with it! Uh... Yeah, like, you actually stifled me on one end because I had a card in here that let me play one of my removed cards, and it was, like, the one that let me move initiative face up and face down. I'm trying to get, I was trying to get as much as possible. Um, but Nixon, as rings true with history, uh, you resigned, um, embarrassingly, and... Uh, oh, look, looky, looky there. Oh, look at that. I like it. So... That was Watergate, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Click the I to go to the discussion. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell, click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page, the link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.